Hi, I'm Andrew Poe with Map Automation. Today we're going to be running through a typical mapping routine on the version 3 of the new software. Let's run through a typical mapping routine. On the far left, click the wrench, click Maps, and click Create. Give it a name, and make sure you select a site. If you need to create one, you can create one by hitting this button here. Here we've got an empty template. We're going to go over here, click Record and Upload Floor Plan, and then hit Record. This will initialize for a second. I'm going to walk over to the robot and select a manual mode to drive it around. And now while we drive around, you can see on the screen that we're going to start mapping out the room. You can see on the screen here, we've got a pretty good map recorded. Hit finish mapping. We're going to hit overwrite current map. Now we need to adjust the angle. It's best to have this at a 90 degrees to your screen, having it at an angle like such would end up having the robot driving in a zigzagging motion. So you want to try to line it up either perpendicular or parallel. So this one we're going to do like, actually I've got it upside down. We're going to do it that way and then save. Here's where we're going to do a little bit of uh, markup on our map. We've recorded some things, for example, I think this was me standing here. I'm not an object that's going to normally be here, so we can erase that. Um, there's other things that we can, we can add walls, take walls away. Can add zones in here. All those are somewhat advanced topics. We'll just stick with getting rid of things that are not stationary objects, such as these tables could move, or this is another table that can move. All those things we can erase. Go over here to walls and floors. We're going to use the floor button with a brush, and I'm going to make this a bit bigger to make it easier. So now I'm going to erase these objects that shouldn't be here. In fact, we can take that one out completely. It's probably good enough. Oh, we'll get rid of some of these two real quick. Okay. That should be good for eliminating some of the junk that shouldn't be there. Next thing we want to do is we want to save the map. Load it. back into edit. Now you can see the robot thinks it's way off here in the corner when it's actually sitting about right here. So we're going to have to tell it where it is. Click the button for set robot start position, drag it to whereabouts it is, and angle it. So you see how close we are, we can fine tune it a bit. This is about here. A little better. There we go. Save. And then fine tuning should be done by itself. You click this button to adjust localization, it should snap into place. And you see it did. 